Thank you to Caroline, Insomniac, Able Gamers, D, Lauren, Raya, and Mudgy for pledging on Patreon. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so stressed that this is not gonna work. I am so paranoid. Like, nothing has ever been so difficult with this stuff. Just, you know, her changing her mind constantly. That was already stressful. And then going through the airport stuff today, that was stressful. Getting a test, that was stressful. And then I'm realizing, oh, there's all these other forms that she has to do, regardless of the fact that the country is taking back citizens of its own country. But you still have to do all this other stuff. And I completely get it. But holy crap, this is all new. And I'm just, I'm having to do all the processing stuff myself. Because she doesn't understand computers. She doesn't even know how to turn a computer on. And I'm just like, oh my god. But I think hopefully there's a workaround. And I'm just hoping that tomorrow the airport, the airline accepts the test. Because they told us to go to this specific place. And that they would accept it. And they said, you take this test. You get the result you need, and you come back tomorrow, and you will get on the plane. But I'm just like, I don't, I just, I'm scared of the risk that it's all gonna blow up in my face. Now granted, we can cancel the flight by 11.30, but I don't want to deal with that again. I don't want to have to come back from the airport a second day in a row, and I need to sleep. It's 2 a.m. I have to wake up at 8.30. I'm too petrified to sleep. She's on the plane. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God. They, they accepted the COVID test. I continue to stress out about the time limit. Multiple people on Facebook and Twitter says she'll be in the clear. Um, <laughs> so I won't have to worry about that, hopefully. Uh, okay. I'm not going to be fully convinced until, like, I get confirmation from my grandpa that, uh, she's there, but, <laughs> and that he picks her up, but, um, yeah, I, originally, I was just going to drop her off, I was going to help her check in, whatever, because uh, she hasn't been on a plane in two decades, so everything's changed, obviously, she doesn't have a cell phone, so, how to deal with all that, and I'm surprised, but they let me go into the gates with her, they let me go through security, and I said, fine, you know, I'll go, whatever, help get other things situated, and, uh, I guess I waited until she decided, or until she decided, until she had to board the plane, and here we are, <laughs> it was, it was weird, and she even wanted to hug, and I was like, fine, I'll hug you, and then, <sighs> me being the cancer that I am, and the very complicated, emotional person that I am right now with everything that's been going on with all this. She cried and I started crying too. Uh, <laughs> obviously I'm crying now. I'm and when that when she I watched her go in for the um what's it called? The tarmac or something. I went to the bathroom. I started hyperventilating in there. Which is a nice good hyper hyper hyperventilating moment. And then I was okay for a bit, and it went down to baggage claim, exit all of that, gone to Starbucks, <laughs> celebratory Starbucks, and here we are. I don't know why, but I have expected her to, like, start come running out of the tarmac and being like, nope, nope, I don't want to go, I'm changing my mind, <laughs> and that would, that would not have been a fun time. But yeah, now I just, we wait until I think it's supposed to be 2.55 Eastern that she's supposed to arrive over there. Um, probably not sleeping at night till I find out that she went through. So then I don't have to stress anymore. And I guess that's it. And I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do when I get home. I think I might get some celebratory ramen to take home to eat. Especially since it, it was a mess coming down here. It was raining horribly and now storms are supposed to come later. I think I'm going to go get some ramen and then they get home. Maybe I'll also go get something from the sandwich shop that I like as well. Make it a party. And then I'm going to shower. And then figure out what the hell I'm going to do in my life. Because now, I don't know what to do. I'm alone. I'm physically by myself now in that apartment with two cats. But now I don't know what I'm going to do. And that's something. 
Alright. Okay, let's go. Hi. Sorry, Zane. <laughs> So it's been a week later. I uh, I wanted to do the other part of this video like a day after, but things have been so chaotic. Like I don't even know what to tell you to be honest. So basically, she went through customs and all of that. She's in Germany now. She's been picked up. She's at my grandpa's, aka her dad's, and yeah, I've just been here. I, 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 admittedly, it's been, the first couple of days were weird, especially the first full day that I was by myself. Everything felt really empty and really weird, and I was expecting certain things to happen, and I was almost kind of sad. It's like my 29-year-old self was replaced with my 8-year-old self for a good bit, and it was just uh, this this weird time. I, it, it wasn't feeling right, I wasn't feeling right. And then, you know, fast forward a couple of days later, I'm doing pretty fantastic. Uh, yeah. Now, of course, this just, this whole thing doesn't just end with her going 3,000 miles away because, long story short, I'm gonna prefer to do all this, uh, information in like the, its own separate videos because wow am i gonna be talking about this on my channel for a while now that it's finally done from 3,000 miles away i am still being guilt tripped not by her specifically because she doesn't know how to turn on a computer and she doesn't own a cell phone and has no idea how they work but family friends emailing me although finally that stopped but now we're resorting to being called by other people and it's it's oh god it's so frustrating and i am so close to like blocking everybody because it's just oh lord you'll get the whole full story on what's happening when i did a q a on instagram people were like why'd she leave why she want to move and da 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 it's been a two-year journey when this whole thing officially officially started it's been a whole two plus Maybe just two year journey of manipulation back and forth, booked flights, canceled flights, and all this other stuff. And, oh god, and right now it's, I wanted to go back, and now she wants to come back. <laughs> and so it's, it's a whole nice drama filled moment, uh, but yeah. So anyway, I officially live by myself now, sort of, mostly like 99.9% .9 of the time. This apartment, still my dad's, under my dad's name. He pays for it. You know, this is the family household, if you will. But because of his job, I'm pretty much here the whole time. So, I'm still gonna call it my apartment. Um, things ha are getting cleaned. Officially, if you knew how messy this place was, it's horrible. I've I've gotten help from my friend and her cousin, and we're going to continue this weekend. Um, if you are a channel member, you will get extra videos about the process, kind of. Maybe like a little bit of a tour sort of thing. So, um, if you're interested in extra videos every month, be sure to click that join button down below. Uh, right now, we've been working on the downstairs, and then eventually we will work on the upstairs, which will eventually become, I will have the room I was supposed to have this whole time. And it will become a new office. It will probably be like a bedroom office. But because it's bigger, it should work in a way that won't make me feel suffocated like my other situation, my old situation. It will probably be like a bedroom office because when my dad is here the rare time that he's here and he wants to sleep here now, finally, because nobody's torturing us about it, uh, he'll have the old room, my old room, so we kind of, I'm still going to have to have that I think but hopefully by the end of April at least the basics of my new room slash office will be done I will have at least the desk and the computers set up so I can have my streaming on one side and my laptop and stuff on the other and I can film anywhere else in this apartment without really having to worry about it because as you can see right now I'm in the living room in front of a couch it's amazing. Hopefully the lighting is all right and whatnot. It's still a little bit messy in here. It's a, it's a progress. It's a journey because there's so much stuff accumulated and she never really cleaned. She hasn't cleaned in like two years, so it's been bad. I'm kind of excited to finally, one, 
not be stressed all the time, depressed all the time, uh, and hopefully actually get some work done. And I have two speaking engagements lined up this month, so I need to work on those. And hopefully that means more videos will come out more consistently because I won't be in a bad mood all the time now, right before I'm supposed to start filming. I'm gonna appreciate you being patient with me for this month especially, maybe next month and a half, two months, just to get everything settled because, hi, disabled person, I get tired so easily and I need help and it's hard to know when my dad's gonna be here to help with furniture and things like that unless my friend can help if she has some other help for us. It's gonna be, it's gonna take some time. It's not gonna be quick though. So. But I mean I guess until then I can just film videos right here because why not? <laughs> That's all I really wanted to say. Just a quick little update for the end of this video. Leave it on a happier note and then we'll get more into the nitty gritty in a future video. It's just it's a lot to unpack, honestly. We can all celebrate together right now in the comments. So go ahead. Little celebrating emojis. We can leave them down in the comments. Ah! Who's excited? I'm excited. Alright. So, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching. I very much appreciate it. And I will see you later.